And today may be the perfect example, guys, of trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Welcome, guys, to Gold Pass Clash. It is day 81, and I've got this little archer tower finally upgrading. I figured I had time this morning because I had a builder finish that was working on an air defense. So today we're going to be trying to do a bat army. Now, you can see my bats are maxed out. My free spell is not. My P.E.K.K.A. is not, and that is a problem. But we're going to be trying this anyway, okay? So the P.E.K.K.A. go to level 6, and the free spells can go all the way to level five i think uh, so they're going level three they'll be done today now i did have a really good idea posted in the comments of the previous video so please post your thoughts in the comments i really do appreciate them something to do with the power potion but i don't want to necessarily do that right now because a i don't have heroes so i feel like it would wouldn't be used that well and number two is i like to feel the difference between an unprepared army with sub-level heroes or i'm sorry sub-level troops sub-level spells etc versus maxed out stuff so that's what we're going to be trying today guys we're going to be trying to fit the square peg into the round hole by using troops that are not quite maxed out like the pekka and the free spell and of course uh trying to do our best okay and if i show you my attack log this is actually the first time i'm trying this army so let's see how we can go and how we can make this work all right, guys, so I've got a pretty decent choice here. The Our single targeting Infernals are not going to be a problem. It's the Wizard Towers that will be a problem and the Expo, but we have an upgrading Expo over here. So this one might be a pretty good choice. You want to avoid multi-targeting Infernos and you want to avoid, if you can, Wizard Towers. But because I've got all these Wizard Towers kind of all together, I think we're going to do decently. All right, so let's drop um, a... Uh, a peck out here just really quickly now normally what you would do is drop the oh and i got an air defense that's upgrading so that's amazing um so normally what you would do is drop your uh your healers on say the queen right but because we don't have the queen right now we're basically doing pekka walks slash uh bowler walks and so i'm gonna throw do i'm gonna go ahead and throw these in here let's freeze all of that and I've got the raid spell for whenever everything makes it as far into the core as it possibly will. Let's go ahead and drop the uh, poison. I wasn't actually supposed to use that free spell, I just realized. But, you know, if these bowlers are successful, then we're going to wipe out pretty much everything that's going to be a threat except for those two wizard towers there. So here in a moment, let's just wait a moment. I'm going to drop a, a balloon over here for the fun of it. But let's actually drop um yeah let's put all of the bats right out here i might have done this a little bit too quickly um but let's just see okay so let's freeze that they're going to come over here they're going to take out that wizard tower hopefully pretty quickly there we go oh no okay dudes okay this this was a fail this was a total fail i told you guys i was a little bit too quick i was a little bit too quick with my freeze and I was a little bit too, um, well, I didn't have a hero. <laughs> I didn't have a queen. I'm supposed to have a queen charge of this army. So like I said, maybe this is like everything not to do for bat spells, right? Like, like avoid these mistakes with bat spells. What did I do? I dropped my bats a little bit too early into a base that was a little bit too prepared for me, right? Like the army was a little bit, or the, um, the base was a little bit too strong. I wasn't able to get all the way into the core. I wasn't able to distract the wizard towers. And overall... We just got absolutely wrecked. Now, the cool part is this isn't a perfect fail because I did get a two star and I'm going to get all the Dark Elixir the space has to offer, which, as you guys know from the series, that's all I need right now. I've got maxed out storages in every other way. So even though it seemed like a pretty bad fail, I mean, you know, 68% two star and another town of 10, we were three starring everything with Bow Witch, but I got all the Dark Elixir. So I would say that is decent question mark <laughs> so i went ahead and gemmed everything up i am ready to attack again the only difference here is that i'm bringing a log launcher okay so i'm going to try that it's going to open up some things and do some residual damage down the line i'm thinking we can do a little bit better with a log launcher plus i want to remember not to use my free spell on the enemy queen like i was tempted to do earlier i'm still in bow witch mode obviously Wow, here's another one. So all of the Wizard Towers are in the middle. We got two single targeting Infernos. So I'm thinking I can actually come in from the left here and with the Log Launcher do quite a bit of damage. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be a little more uh, choosy with where my P.E.K.K.A. go. So let's put one here and one here. Log Launcher, uh, my dude, you're gonna go right there. Okay, super particular in my location here. Uh, and then of course, once the wall is broke open, drop down both P.E.K.K.A. 
all of the bowlers and all of the healers and why not put a balloon too because i can and a few wizards okay so now um ooh, that single inferno has ruined just about everything okay rage spell on the bowlers we got lots of bounce damage right now going in we're wiping out defenses like crazy and you know what let's poison this queen at the same time okay so we're looking really really good actually surprisingly good so let's go ahead and drop all of these bats okay so drop them way out here and let's just watch them as they roll along there goes the last of the wizard towers that was absolutely beautiful and this expo is also distracted so maybe we'll be able to take it out as well i've still got three free spells let's drop the wizards out there i've got three free spells so if i need to i can freeze something like that right there that's probably a dangerous location um the bat spell it's not outputting quite as many bats as i was expecting i'm not entirely sure what the deal is there um are my bats not maxed out or maybe it's because i'm a town hall 10 maybe it's been nerfed lately i don't know but um i'm genuinely impressed with how this has gone down let's freeze that just to just to stop the destruction of my poor healers they they, they deserve better um but okay so no three star in this video um this is obviously one of those attack strategies that require the perfect base design and some practice um you, you know i didn't do any practice i watched a couple of videos online i can't even say who they were i just watched the first few videos that popped up for bat spells of tunnel 10 and also am again trying to force a square peg into a round hole i am attempting to do an attack strategy that's quite strategic and difficult and i'm doing it with subpar troops which is just not ideal so I don't know is it worth doing i mean i'm doing actually very well right now in fact i'm about to get all of the loot which is pretty amazing uh but two starring a fairly high level town hall 10 is not too bad and again because these pecker are so low level like they just don't they just don't do the job they're supposed to do getting through the walls and it's it's sad really but you know it is what it is so ooh, this pekka is about to get stuck behind a wall no actually okay let's see let's see here um oh man we're so close to a three star i got so close to a three star here guys that was that was amazing and actually look at this bounce damage too very very nice so this pekka will break through this wall very easily it looks like it's going to be a pretty high percentage like a 95 percent or so uh two star nope didn't quite get that tesla on the second bounce so so not bad honestly okay all right let's let's re let's re-engage this because i just got a 94 percent two star on a really high level town hall 10 without heroes and without an upgraded pekka and without bat spell well okay my bat spells were decent but without um without upgraded free spells and that's huge right i mean right now i'm only getting three seconds and i'm thinking at level five i'm going to be getting four and a half seconds and that's that is major when it comes to this attack strategy so is it worth it or do bat spells suck let me know down below in the comments your thoughts yeah i think that i'll keep trying that and see how it goes let me request for cc later on but right now guys let's finish up this um four gems here there we go and i'm going to continue working on these expos because i want these expos to be unrushed as fast as possible so 2.16 million gold there we go and we are slowly approaching sub max gold storage so that i can collect gold in the season bank this is kind of annoying but it is what it is i still need to set up a base design that I can use to give away Elixir. If anybody has a base like that, let me know down below in the comments, share the link, whatever you need to do. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Gold Pass Clash. Hope you enjoyed. Do bad spells suck? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.